I'm still a risk taker, let me put it in words. You can't steal second base and keep your foot on first. Of course, there's a lot of people that would, would get at the person that's saying, you know, high risk, high reward. What I'm doing, the, uh, the risk I'm taking mandates a, a given reward. And it's true at some level, but you got to realize that everybody's taking a risk. Regardless, because you can't steal second base with your foot on first. So what we have here, people that feel like they're not taking a risk. People that work nine to fives. People that live the mundane life. At some level, I can understand that person. I can call that person a tough guy. Some of them people are the toughest people on the planet just to, to do that. And I can appreciate how, I don't want to say dumb down your life, but you've made your life bad. So it's like, to me, I would say, okay, yeah, you dumbed down your life in comparison. But for you, you can only compare you to you. So at some level, I feel like, okay, you're doing that for this so-called peace of mind and this sense of security. But on the other side of it, you're really buying into something. Like... If you're working nine to five at Forever Twenty One or wherever Gap or something like that, you you have bought you given your energy into something saying like this won't fail. I'm giving my life into this. I'm not gonna get laid off or get fired or uh, get sick of the job to the point where I want to quit. You you know you feel like you're not taking a risk somehow because you work nine to five. You you're taking a risk all the same. You know what happens because. You gotta understand it's a global market and everything's interconnected. So what happens if something happens in the marketplace where they gotta lay off a bunch of people? Now your job was a risk. Now maintaining that job and not creating for yourself was a risk the whole time. But you had created this reality where you felt as though this is a sure thing because I'm working nine to five. I'm I'm living this uh, this this like straight and narrow life. But it's really all a risk regardless. So you might as well create for yourself and and live your own destiny because you know you're taking a risk either way and honestly I'd rather die enormous than live dormant that's how we own it so I mean you could look at the whole spectrum that's why I feel like you gotta love I can't hate the cops and I can't hate the robbers because you kinda gotta love them they see the whole spectrum you know, I'm not gonna hate the beat cop or the, any of these people like and if you go further up as far as law enforcement the more criminal it is so they're really one and the same. The cop is the robber. Cops and robbers, they're the same people. You know, they're, they're people that wanted just a little bit more out of life. That wanted a little bit of power. Either way, one or the other. They weren't going to live the mundane. They weren't going to be in the in between. Because it's what like they say. Cops and robbers and suckers in between. And everybody's taking a risk. You're taking a risk to be a sucker. You're taking a risk to be 9 to 5. You're taking a risk to be a robber. You're taking a risk to be a cop. It's all about the degree of the risk and... And you could just step away from the whole spectrum itself and be an observer observer, and create for yourself and help others, which helps you. But at the same time, you're still taking a leap of, of faith or a leap of knowledge of self. You know, I'm going to always call it faith because if you know yourself, you know that you create and you create everything that you would need and you already have everything you need. So, yeah, I'm just saying everybody's taking a risk, regardless of who you are. If you're a 9 to 5 or if you're a cop, a robber. Well, you know, it's you know, you got to look at the whole spectrum and understand that you would call it high risk, high reward, but at the same time, it all balances out because it can make you crazy taking those risks. It can make you a sociopath if you if you are flipping kilos, if you are trying to get people that are flipping kilos because they'll kill you if you don't care if you're a cop, you're just a person with a badge. Just you know, that's the only difference. So it's all a risk, regardless, and you might as well create for yourself. Or you, you know, you're just gonna be a sucker in between, regardless, no matter what your endeavor is. So you just need to know that people always want to say, like, how do I ensure that this life, you know, it will, it will perpetuate itself? I'll be able to have this type of food and be able to feed myself. First of all, I feel like if you take that track of health and healing and healing other people after you've healed yourself, you're a healer. Once you've taken that track, all the places will be there for you to to stay afloat. It all, all the signs will be there. You'll be able to read them. You know, whether you choose to neglect them or not, that's all on you. But as far as taking a risk, you know, you can't steal second base with your foot on first. You know, you can't stay stuck in a comfort. Again, vulnerability brings the two sides of the coin. It can bring greatness or it can bring great, you know, uh, heartache. But you can't, you won't experience either. Like they say, it, the question is, is to have had and lost better than not having at all.
So either way, just know you're taking some form of, of risk, however you want to look at it. And it is whatever is comfortable with you, you know, because it's one way or another, you, you know, you're out, you're out here. You know, you, you're out here being a producer, whether you consciously produce or not. And, yeah, that's it. We all taking risks.